Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid and today I wanted to review the Liquid Smooth RC2 ROM for your Galaxy S3. So obviously this works for all your Galaxy S3s and I have to say that this is one of my favorite ROMs. Um, it's a blazing fast 4.2.2 ROM. Um, if you like these wallpapers that you see right here, you download that as a separate file and the link below will have all the ROMs and you could just go there and choose the file to install the wallpapers. So as I said, that means it supports Sprint, ATT, T-Mobile, Verizon, and International. So all those Galaxy S3s. Um, as I said, this is 4.2.2. If we go down to About Phone, you can see that it is Android 4.2.2. And we have build number, Liquid D2 ATT, blah blah blah. Um, so, um, this really is the fastest, if not, ROM, like, the fastest ROM I've ever used, like, it is really that fast. Um, I've used AOKP, a lot of fast touch was ROMs, but I don't know what they did to it, it actually is liquid smooth. So, uh, <laughs> one thing that I love right off the bat, I don't know why I love this, is how the messaging is themed blue. Um, if we were to go into messaging, it is still not theme blue, so you basically get normal theme there. But the icon is theme blue. Let me just zoom in. I just like how that looks. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but that's what I like. If we go into camera, uh, you do get the options to save to um, external SD card, all that good stuff. You get the normal 4.2 camera, which everybody loves. Um, if we go down into settings, this is where basically you'll be customizing all your stuff. If we go into interface, we could change the LCD density, we could change custom carrier label, which is right over here, AT&T. We could customize the clock widget, we could disable our hardware keys or change what they do. We have exposed installer, um, in a couple of other videos I showed how to use that but basically you go through here I'll give you some steps and um, you could customize the DPI of each app if we go to lock screen we get some cool options like allowing rotation um, we could go to the separate area with widgets and we could have unlimited widgets and all widgets which I find pretty cool um, basically you get some security options here uh, what your buttons do here so you could have them do different actions we could add targets up to eight targets some shortcuts we, and we could change the text color if we go down we can enable the no navigation bar if you want just click enable it'll turn it on and you could customize it however you want so if you're looking for that option that's there and then yes you get pie controls too we can enable this here. I have it enabled at the bottom. You could choose that right here, so we'll choose it here. As you can see, we get the Pi controls, which everybody likes. Um, I don't really use it that much, so I keep it disabled. But you get a lot of options there, if what you want to customize. Performance, you could go in here, overclock or underclock. I did install a custom kernel, so I could overclock, obviously. Um, and you could change the governor if you're into that kind of CPU tweaking stuff. Uh, if you go into power menu, we could go to extend, expanded desktop. And we could click hide status bar. So basically, if you want extra room, you hold the power button, we click expand desktop, and it'll take that away. And now you get more room, but sadly, you can't use that. So only when you're not in a video, but that's when um, Pi Control is getting used, so you could do that stuff. If we go back into power menu, we can enable screenshot, sound panel, sound panel is when you hold this oops when you use these volume markers you could go through it here you could customize all of them I use that feature a lot actually uh, then we have power widget we could enable this and basically this gives us back these widgets but we still get this stuff there too I'm going to disable that, you customize all that stuff and we get quick settings we could go through here um, tile and layout and you could just add a bunch of ones that you want. So let's say I want reboot. And we could add um, NFC. And we could add orientation. And then if you go here, 
you have a bunch of toggles now all the time then you get some other options there too if we go back down here we have status bar you could change the transparency of the status bar and the color the battery icon and this one gives you a lot of choices for battery icon you could even hide it and some other stuff there and that's basically it you could enable notification count and that's basically it for settings so as I said you do get a lot of them if you like to customize um, some other apps this comes with is I think you do get DPI manager not for sure let me go through here um, okay I guess not anymore uh, you do get sound recorder so you could record stuff the music app which <laughs> is okay for the ASP and that's pretty it pretty much it but as you can see it's really snappy um, apps open quickly and you just get a fast fast experience and that's why I like this ROM um, would I pick it over AOKP? Uh, maybe I guess I just like some AOKP features that I'm used to but if you're looking for one of those AOSP 4.2.2 ROMs that's fast uh, this one will probably be perfect for you so I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe for more videos like this also make sure to hit like and leave a comment down below if you want me to review any other kind of ROM or something else. Okay, thanks for watching.